Uh, my understanding is he's made comments around the building that basically indicate he's not happy with where the offensive coaching staff is right now. And I think that that could lead to shuffling at more than just the play caller spot. I mean, we could be talking about a new coordinator coming in with multiple new position coaches. I, I think there are several guys in the staff that are going to be reviewed after the year. And the interesting part about this, uh, Michael, is the one guy I've heard that Kraft actually likes and would like to keep around is the tight ends coach, Nick Cayley, who was up to be the coordinator a year ago, now is on an expiring contract. And I think a lot of people expect would take a look at a job at Vegas in 2023. So actually the guy that Kraft likes is the guy that Bel Belichick basically buried <laughs> this year. Bert, tell us more. What do you mean comments around the building? What does that mean? I've just, walking I, the halls, ranting and raving? Know, What's he doing? I, I, I've, I've just heard he's made comments to people inside the building about his feeling on where the coaching staff is. And I think it reflects the way that he was talking back in March when he sort of put Bill out there on that island and said, I understand where the fans are coming from here. And so, like, the one thing I did here was the coach that he thought has promise <laughs> is the same coach a lot of people in the building thought had promise, which is the tight ends coach, Nick Cayley. Last year, for those who don't know, in January and February, Nick Cayley turned down an extension because Bill refused to clarify his role to Cayley. So then, because he didn't sign his extension, he sort of got buried in the coaching staff behind Patricia and Judge, which, I, like, look, like, Josh wants to bring him to Vegas, which should tell you a little bit about how he was seen in the building while Josh was here. Teddy, what are you hearing? Yeah, well, I've, <laughs> I've, I've, I've heard the things that would, would support uh, what, what Bert is, is reporting, mm. right? So I've heard the same thing, that, that, uh, that Mr. Kraft and the Krafts are not, are not happy with this situation uh, when, it, when it comes to what's going on with, with the Patriots and, and Bill and, and some of his decisions. So I've been hearing the, 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 the same things that, that Bert's reporting, that he's not happy with things. Okay. I, I would say one thing I would add there. One thing I've always been told about these owners, right? Don't embarrass a billionaire. I just think like the fact that people are like sort of poking fun at what it looks like is a factor here. You know, it's not just failing because every owner deals with failing at certain points. It's like, does it look like a like a clown show, right? And if you think it looks like a clown show, then maybe Kraft thinks it looks like a clown. Okay, feels like there's a lot of Bill O'Brien momentum in the last couple of weeks. The reporting has really picked up steam locally, nationally. Is this a fait complete, Bert? And is this a Robert Kraft move or a Bill Belichick move? And I'll just say, like I said off the top, <clears throat> it'll, it will be a united front. Mm -hmm. You know, Bill, and I think Bill probably realizes he screwed up as well. It's just this was not the master plan for Bill. Master, the master plan was that Matt Patricia comes in and does the job, and Bill thought he could do it, and he was just wrong. But does this mean Kraft has reached out to Bill O'Brien, and that's, that's the line right I, there? My understanding is Bill O'Brien hasn't talked to anybody from the Patriots yet, and I think that's sort of the way that they <clears> operate. And I understand that. And Bill O'Brien just coached in the Sugar Bowl, so he's just coming off of his season. My feeling is that Bill O'Brien's resolved that he's not going to do what he did with his family the last two years, where they're separated. He lives in Alabama. They live in Texas. He's done with that. And so I think that points to him returning to the NFL. Alabama's already looking at potential offensive coordinator candidates to replace him. And the issue you have now is if you make the playoffs, and it's going to sound weird because it's not a bad thing to make the playoffs, but if you make the playoffs – and then you get that week there where you're getting ready for a playoff game. And now all of a sudden, say Vegas or Tennessee comes along and says, well, we want you here. Bill O'Brien can't, like in good conscience, just turn his back on jobs that could be out there for him in the NFL to wait to see what Bill's going to do. And I, and I think uh, just knowing Bill O'Brien from covering him in, in Houston for, for a lot of years, He's from here, and I know for a fact he would love yep. to, to be here and coach. Now, in what capacity and what context, uh, you'd, ha you'd have to ask him, but I know he would love to be here and bring his family back here in the hospitals. He has a son that has special needs, mm -hmm. and that's important is being in an area where there's great hospitals. So I know Boston is uh, top of mind. That's why the family stayed in Houston was because of the hospitals. Yep. Okay.